a portent of things to come. My mother went into labor with me in the Elmwood Theater on Queens Boulevard during opening night of Lust for Life with Kirk Douglas, the story of Vincent Van Gogh. She whispered to my father that they'd better get to the hospital right away. He reached into his pocket, handed her five bucks, and said, take a cab, I'll be there when the movie's over. <laughs> <laughs> Much as I loved my mother and I miss her and I wish she were still in the world, let me tell you, nothing frees you up like staring down into a freshly dug hole in the ground as you watch the first spade full of earth hit that coffin lid with a resounding thud. Your heart is breaking, you're choking back tears, you know your life has changed forever, but in that very same instant, something deep inside of you is silently shouting, Free at last, free at last. <laughs> the truth is harsh. So honest, children. Okay. Let's get through this. I can't tell you how many times nowadays I get tripped up using un PC words and phrases due to age related force of habit. These obsolete terms are deeply etched in my psyche and vocabulary. I just can't help it. For example, I was at a restaurant recently with a young friend in her 20s, and after we'd eaten a delicious meal, gotten the check, I left a generous tip and looking up said, you're a great waitress. Well, my friend, nearly had a fit telling me it's server, not waitress. If anyone called me a waitress, I'd smack them. She was simply mortified and thoroughly indignant and literally jumped out of her seat going on and on about it. Meanwhile, the waitress was perfectly gracious and seemed completely unfazed. Personally, I don't see what's preferable about using the term server. It sounds more demeaning than waiter or waitress to me. Server, serve us. That's PC. I mean, I, I grasp the notion that you want to dispense with gender specificity, but personally, I don't have a problem with somebody noticing that I have tits and an ass. Matter of fact, I'm thrilled if anyone can tell that I have tits and an ass. Waitress would be fine with me. Asian is another term that baffles me. It took me years of concerted focus and practice to shift from saying Oriental to saying Asian. For what? What is so offensive about the word Oriental? I like the term Oriental. It carries with it a certain exoticism in my mind. Yeah. But I reckon nowadays the notion of exoticism is verboten as well, since in some people's minds it could subtly imply the idea of otherness and reflect a mentality of separatism or something. Actually, I looked it up, and you know what the official rule of thumb is now? You may refer to a rug, or a lamp, or some such decorative object as oriental, but a person must be referred to as Asian. In other words, the rug is from the Orient, but the person somehow magically emerged out of Asia? Even though both the object and the person may originate from the same country? And what about this hearing impaired and vision impaired bullshit? Who wants to be specifically referred to as impaired? That's kind of mean, don't you think? I'd rather be called deaf or blind if I were deaf or blind. Would you want people constantly referring to you as impaired? Hey, <laughs> sometimes I feel like I've got to take a course at Barnard in order to learn all the new rules you need to know just to have a basic conversation and not get death stares from the PC brigade. Of course, using these words and phrases doesn't change the inner nature of the speaker or alter their true feelings. It merely gives others the impression that they're a sensitive, caring person, even if nothing could be further from the truth. Matter of fact, generally speaking, I find that the more insistently PC a person is, the less open-minded and down-to-earth they really are in practice. I mean, who the fuck thinks this shit up? If something tells me it's not deaf and blind people, or waitresses, I've got an inkling it's those friggin' academics. Let's see. I've got an hour to kill before my next massage. Might as well work on some word conversions. Now how can we make life more difficult for the average person by inventing yet another new term that everyone has to learn to use in order to be accepted as a righteous individual? Hmm, actually, I think it's about time we dispensed with the word academic. Academic is a rather confining and simplistic term. How about person of enhanced education? Or person of scholastic empowerment? I know. Person of superior intellect. Oh, oh, oh no, no, that won't do. Hmm. Damn it. I need another vodka gimlet. 
Now where the hell is that bloody hearing impaired Asian server? <laughs>